these um this coach and these trucks that are all here parked up where are you from they're all blocking the road yeah, where are you from so there's no way through so if the emergency services were trying to uh, get through the gap there they're not going to be able to hey hey welcome back to another video well today i'm looking at west pennine trucks which is a part of the scanning group and um, yeah it's out near middleton this north manchester uh, i got here and the first thing that's noticed was that the road outside is completely blocked both sides by uh, trucks coach and a trailer so yeah so i think what i need to do is go and have a look um, and check if this road is a public road or if it's a private road at the moment because of the uh, road markings here it would indicate that this is actually a public road and if it is then these trucks these trailers and the coach are all blocking access now they're all Scania vehicles so I'm guessing it's got something to do with uh, the Scania yard here There's uh, a lot of safety information there on that sign. So it looks like they're a sales service kind of place. Waiting preparation. So there's some for sale, some waiting uh, to go out. Interesting. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a walk down to the other end just to see what there is uh, down the other side. I mean, from here I can see down the end there are some bays down there. They are um, obscured a bit by the parked vehicles, but the drone itself will be able to uh, definitely have a better view of that. So I am going to get Snoopy up into the uh, after I've done my walk around. So yeah, I'm just going to take a, a quick walk up here. But look at that, if this is a public road, that's really bad. Because they should not be blocking the road like that. There's like, could probably fit a tiny car in the gap, but the majority of cars just wouldn't fit in this gap at all. So that's a, a Colina truck that's just parked there as well. So yeah, that's uh, another Scania. So again, the other end of this uh, bit of road there, there are double yellow lines that come round and uh, the grids and stuff. It all looks like a council, a council public owned road. I will check though, definitely. So around the back there, there's more uh, vehicles parked up, there's more bays along this section. Security camera up there, hello. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. I'm definitely going to have to ask them though about this bit of road because I know that if I needed access to this road and that was like that what if it's an emergency what if the uh, fire brigade needs to get through or or the police or the ambulance and they get here to get to where they're going to and uh, you've got this lot all parked here blocking access that's really bad so Hiya. Hiya. How are you doing? You alright? Yeah, I've got a question for you. These, um, this coach and these trucks that are all here parked up. Where are you from? They're all blocking the road. Yeah, where 
where are you from? So there's no way through. So if the emergency services were trying to uh, get through the gap there, they're not going to be able to. Is this a public road or is this a private road? Where are you from? Is it a private road or a public road? Just tell me where you're from. I'm a member of the public. Okay. It's um, it's just not very good, is it? If there's like yeah. no gap there's access, there for. There's access down the side. But this so is. The other over there. But is this a public road? Hmm? Is this a public road? Speak to the council. Well, I'll, what I'll do is I'll go and check it myself, because yeah, yeah. I can do. Um, and if it is a public road, you will be committing an offence by having them all blocking the access there. So, yeah, quickly pausing it here for a second. Um, so I did take a look on Find My Street um, and it didn't say whether it's private or public. Um, so I contacted Rochdale Council and after inquiring with them, they confirmed that it is actually a public road. It was adopted. Speak to the council. Well, I don't need to speak to the council, but there is a website I can go to where I can check and I will be doing that. It's just not a very good look for Scania, is it? How rude. How rude. Rude man. Just go and check with the council. Well, I will be doing and I think uh, a complaint will definitely be made because that is unacceptable. Blocking a road like that if it's public. And I'm pretty sure it is looking at the, uh, the layout and the design of it. Right, so I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm gonna get Snoopy up into the air now and go and have a look around, have a better look at this place. But that guy, he's just done a massive discredit there to the company. Talking to a member of public like that and really couldn't care less about the road being blocked. Right, so there we go, that's a West Pennine Trucks, a Scania company um, with extremely rude staff who don't seem to uh, care that they're completely blocking the road there. Oh well, right, so I've got some good drone footage for you. And uh, I hope his company see that guy because uh, that's a great example of how not to interact with the public. Seem very uh, edgy, I think is the right word to use there. Alright, so that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Take care everybody, Ace Audits out.